the coming weeks and months ahead, many of you will be receiving economic impact payments from the Treasury Department. That's been made to help families in this time of stay-at-home orders to and record high unemployment and to help in these times. Because it's such an unusual thing, there will be many people telling us what we must do with this money, or how we should spend it, or how we should donate it, or how we should save it, or return it, and do all kinds of things with it. So first, I'd like to say that there really is no right or wrong way for us to use this money that you have received, or any other money that you have, for it all comes from God. The small catechism is very clear in teaching that God has given me and you all that we have, that he provides us with all that we need to support this body and life. He provides us with daily bread, which includes everything uh, that has to do with the support of our bodies and our lives, our house and home, our food and drink, clothing and family, and even good government and faithful leaders. And for all of this, it is simply our duty to thank and praise God. And so no matter how we use it, we thank God for caring for us in this time. And as with all things, we submit it to God, as we always have done. But if you're looking for some grace-filled suggestions, maybe just a little bit of wisdom of how you can use this money at a point like this, I just here are a few. A few things you could do is one, you could save it. You could save it and build up an emergency fund so that if you were to lose a job, lose some hours, maybe just a car breaks down, there's a small cushion already there for you to help you. You could pay off high interest debts so that you don't have a monthly payment that crushes you. You could support local businesses. You could buy a gift card for a local business. You could eat out more and tip well. If you went to a hairdresser dresser regularly, you could sit and consider having them continue to cut your hair if they'd be willing to meet you at your home or somewhere else. If you had your house cleaned, you could consider paying them during this time, even if they don't come clean. Uh, you could consider supporting the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation supports restaurant workers who have been laid off right now. You can support any number of food banks or bail funds or homeless children networks, mutual aid societies, many organizations that are working to support people at this time. And finally, you might consider prayerfully about how you can support those in your church community who are unable to receive these payments right now because they are not citizens, and so are ineligible for this benefit. In the end, there is great freedom in how we are called to help and support our neighbor in every physical need. Right now, we who are not essential workers, we are supporting our neighbor and their bodily needs by staying home to slow the spread of COVID-19. Those who are in the healthcare industries, or grocery workers, government employees, delivery drivers, those essential workers are supporting us, who are staying home, as they provide us with essential needs. Others of us might be called to use every good and perfect gift that has come from God in a different way. As in all things, we prayerfully lift it up to God and asking Him to give us the peace and the wisdom and the clarity about how to use all things for His glory. May God give you some wisdom and peace today.